Hey, what's up guys? Steve here with 10 Club Cards, and welcome to episode 12 of the Looking Back series. Today we'll be looking back at the first year of Upper Deck the Cup hockey set. If you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoy today's episode of this ongoing series, and to all my viewers on Patreon, thanks again for your continued support. With no further ado, let's get today's episode started. Upper Deck first entered the sports card market in 1989 with their first baseball card set and the following year would introduce their first hockey card set as well. While Upper Deck would introduce higher end hockey sets over the next several years to come, such as the SP and SPX sets, the 2005-2006 Upper Deck The Cup set would set the foundation as it became the most iconic high end hockey set in the card market. Looking at an article on CardboardConnection.com that covers the inaugural hockey set, the author sums this up well in his first two lines of the article stating, Some sets are a hit, others change things forever. If you're a basketball or football card fan and not familiar with hockey sets as much, the best comparison I could give would be the Upper Deck the Cup would be the equivalent of Panini Treasures for hockey. The 2005-2006 The Cup hockey set was released on July 25th of 2006. A hobby box consisted of only one pack, containing four cards. Each hobby box contained at least two autographed cards, including at least one autographed rookie card. While I could not find the MSRP or price of a hobby box when it was released, after reading multiple articles and forum posts, it looks like the price for a hobby box was right at $500. While doing research for this video, there was currently no hobby boxes listed for sale on eBay but there was one recent sale on February 11th of 2021 that went for $5,300 even. With the release and basics of the distribution of the set out of the way, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the cards. The 2005-2006 Upper Deck The Cup hockey set consisted of a 191 card base set, with the first 100 cards featuring a mix of current veterans and retired stars of the NHL. Those first 100 base cards were serial numbered out of 249, the set also had shorter print serial numbered parallels that I will cover later in the video. The cards were beautifully designed and featured an action photo of the player inside the shape of a shield. There was two curved banners on the front of the cards, with the top banner containing the player's name and the bottom banner featuring the player's position and team. The brand name Upper Deck was placed at the top of the card, while the cup logo was featured at the bottom left with the serial number of the card on the opposite bottom right. A few pictures of the first 100 base cards of the set I could find include Alex Tangay, card number 29, and Brandon Shanahan, card number 40. The next 80 cards of the base set were Rookie Patch Autos, or RPAs, featured from card number 101 through card number 180. Another beautifully designed card, these Rookie RPAs featured the cup logo on the bottom left, like the Veterans and Retired Star cards, but now have the Upper Deck logo at the bottom right. Replacing the upper deck logo at the top of the shield was the word Rookie, and the serial number of these RPAs was featured on the top left of the front of the card. The autograph of the Rookie was on the center of the card, and the jersey patch made up the bottom part of the shield towards the bottom. While the majority of Rookie patch autos in this set were serial numbered out of 199, a few were serial numbered out of only 99, including the two biggest Rookies in the entire set. Sidney Crosby, card number 180, and Alexander Ovechkin, card number 179. The last 11 cards of the 191 card base set featured rookie autos. With the same card design as the rookie patch autos we went over previously, on the bottom part of the shield where the jersey patch was contained, these 11 cards featured the player's team logo instead, as seen here with this Ben Walter rookie, card number 191. While all the cards I mentioned so far do have multiple parallel versions that we still need to go over, let's go ahead and take a closer look at some of the inserts from the 2005-2006 The Cup set. Including some of the autographed variations, there was close to 20 different insert subsets featured in the 2005-2006 The Cup hockey set. While I could make an hour long documentary for this set if I featured every insert subset, I will try to feature just a few of the key inserts. The first insert cards I will go over is the dual NHL shield inserts. There was a total of 52 cards included in this insert subset, 
each of which was an exclusive one of one. This is one of my favorite cards of the set from a design perspective. They feature two different players containing a smaller photo of each player on the top, with the one of one between the two players. Below each player's photo was a jersey patch that contained the NHL logo from their jersey. While I'm using this Marian Hossa and Peter Bondra dual patch as an example, despite these inserts being serial numbered one of one, I was able to find pictures of two of these cards raw, including card number DSIL, featuring Jerome McGinley, and Marty St. Louis, and probably one of the most iconic cards of the set, card number DSLC, featuring Pittsburgh Penguins Mario Lemieux and rookie Sidney Crosby. While there was a total of 52 inserts in this subset, there was also 29 dual NHL Shield autograph inserts, which were also one of ones. Another insert featured in the 2005-2006 The Cup was the Honorable Numbers inserts, which had one of the bigger insert checklists as the subset featured 81 cards total. Another amazingly designed card from Upper Deck. These inserts featured a star player's autograph along with a die cut patch in the shape of the player's jersey number. A majority of the inserts were serial numbered out of the player's jersey number. Some key players that had already retired that were featured in the honorable numbers insert subset included Bobby Hall, serial numbered out of 9, Gay LaFleur, serial numbered out of 10, and Wayne Gretzky, whose card was serial numbered out of 9 rather than his jersey number 99. A few examples of these inserts are Grant Fuhr, serial numbered out of 31, and Alex Tangay, serial numbered out of 18. Two more well-designed inserts of the set included both the Noble Number inserts and the dual-sided Noble Numbers inserts. The Noble Numbers inserts featured two star NHL players that wore the same jersey number. As seen in this card I'm using as an example, both players wear the number 19 on their jersey, and each player contributes one of the two numbers that make up the number 19 patch. While several star NHL players share the same jersey number and were featured in the insert subset, this was one of the toughest cards to find a picture of for the cards I was looking for. One of my favorite combos honoring the number 19 was featured on card number NNYS and featured the likes of Steve Iserman and Joe Sackett. If anyone has seen this card or any other Noble Numbers inserts, I would love to hear your feedback on them in the comment section below. The other Noble Numbers inserts I previously mentioned was the dual sided inserts, and each card featured two players from the same team, with one player on the front and the second player on the back. There was a total of 47 dual sided Noble Number inserts, and they were all serial numbered out of 10. One of the cards featured in this set was card number DNNLL, featuring Tampa Bay Lightning players Marty St. Louis, who was featured on the front of the car, and Vincent LeCavalier, who was featured on the back. Another card in the set included Detroit Red Wings Steve Iserman, who was featured on the front of the card, and Brandon Shanahan, who was featured on the back. Like many of the other insert subsets, this checklist is full of stars, and I recommend taking a closer look at the checklist to see them all. That's all the inserts I will cover today for the inaugural 2005-2006 The Cup Hockey Set, but I recommend checking out the Trading Card Database or Cardboard Connection to see many more inserts this set featured. In this last section of the video, I will briefly cover the different parallels of the set. I say briefly because while I love to show examples of the cards I'm talking about, these are some of the hardest parallels to find pictures of since I started this Looking Back series. Like I mentioned previously in the beginning of the video, the first 100 cards of the set was a mix between active veterans and retired NHL stars. While the base cards were serial numbered out of 249, they also had gold parallels out of 25, black rainbow parallels that were exclusive one of ones, and the set also featured printing plates that of course were one of ones as well. So there you have it guys, a look back at the inaugural 2005-2006 Upper Deck the Cup hockey set. 